Hello there, YouTube! I am the Leap Master. This is my very first video, and I find it prompt that if I'm going to be doing videos like these, that I show you exactly what they'll be of. Now then, this is my computer. That's not what I'm going to be reviewing. But I will show you what I do review. <laughs> what I'll be trying to review. <laughs> right here I have a bunch of random figures. Right there we have a Rebel Tech Date Masamune. <clears throat> Very nice. An MSIA Rumble Rouse Zaku 1. MSIA Battle Damaged Burning Gundam. Revotech Ava Unit 1. Test Type. <laughs> Random Dragon Ball Z statue figures. MSIA RX 782. MSIA Sazabi. Two of them. Neither of them complete. <laughs> Uh, Robot Damashi Garazo, Revel Tech Ava Type F, <clears throat> a uh, a trading figure from Full Metal Panic, McDonald's Transformer, Thor from the Marvel Hammer Files, <clears throat> Robot Damashi Crossbone X three X two, Revel Tech Gurren Lagann for Drillized Mode. Revel Tech, Livatane, and up here we have my Hunt for the Decepticon and Generations figures. We have Sunspot right there, love that thing. Got some awesome figures in the back. We have the uh, Human Alliance Jazz, very awesome figure. <clears throat> Heard quite a few right here, and right there is Thrust. So I haven't gotten Dirge, still looking for them though. And just a bunch of awesome figures that I would like to get around to. <clears throat> Here's my tiny animated shelf. I don't have a, I don't have that many of them. I do hope to make it bigger though. And down here is where I keep my <clears throat> small small thing of classics and a single henke. <clears throat> and those. Um, the Rodimus and the Cyclonus there aren't classics. Those are that's the from the Review of the Shield two two pack. <clears throat> we have a random Energon and Armada, another Energon. That's the Armada Predaking repaint of the Beast Wars Trans Metals Megatron. I have very very nice mold. I love it. The color scheme is pretty good. Sharktacon, awesome. Same thing in Landmine. And over here is my, I guess you could call it a work table, a work desk. Not not the prettiest site right now, but got a bunch of parts that have just been painted. Waiting for those to dry. There's a Genbuso video of Utalgis that I've been getting to paint. Here is the blade of it, actually. It was just straight black until I started to paint it a little bit. And it does have a little green jewel you're supposed to put in the center. But I took that out to protect it. <clears throat> there is a custom paint job of the uh, Infinite Justice that I'm hoping to enter into Vegeta 8259's contest. If only I can get it to be, if only I can finish it. Those are the rest of the parts for it. Over here we have a bunch of my Gunpla. There's Unicorn Destroy Mode with its beam sabers and badassery. Unicorn Mode, a custom Gelgu Cannon. And in the works of making a custom GM Powered, it's Heavy Arms, Dynamis, Dom, Hailbuster, a couple of Wing. Um, endless watch kits, random a seed, random seed astray. Talgies, that and his horse is down there being painted. <laughs> Bunch of other high grades. These are all 1144s up here. Some 1144s and all 1100 else. Yeah, there's a customed Death Scythe Hell and look battle damaged. I'll show that off in some video. A custom. Jacques Doga, Gunai Gus custom. 
Alexia, <coughs> Blue Duel, Raphael. <coughs> That's the only movie kit from the double O line that I have right now. Random Bakugan stuck to my lamp. Right here we have my Revenge of the Fallen and Movie 1 toys. Well, really, just most Revenge of the Fallen. I have like three Movie 1 toys in here. We have those two. That one broke, so I was painting it. I got another one somewhere. I can't remember where. I got these two Legend classes that came with Fierce Roop in the back. Walmart exclusive. Bunch of awesome figures right here. Stratosphere. Love that guy. The um, G1 repaint star screen from movie one. And a bunch of more awesome figures. <coughs> now then. <coughs> here are what few master grades I actually have. We have the Delta Plus C1. <coughs> Random M&M candy thing. <coughs> we have the Xeong. Love that thing. <coughs> We have the Master Grade, Master Asia's Master Gundam. We have Master Grade GM Sniper. <clears throat> and that is actually a Frame Arms kit from, uh, I believe it was Kotobukiya. Yeah, Kotobukiya. <clears throat> it's uh, of its own origins. I don't believe it's from anything. If I'm wrong, correct me. <laughs> but... The name escapes me right now. I have to look at the box. I'll do a review of this guy. No, I'll show you. <laughs> but he's really neat. <laughs> and then up here, we have a couple of Cybertron figures. I love. I love that right there. That that's awesome. <laughs> we have a couple of Cybertrons, mostly uh, basics. One Deluxe and one uh, Ultra. And then we have Devastator Legends class and Supreme class. Yes, he's wearing a wig. Don't ask why. Shit. <laughs> Over here we have my Megatron shelf. We have Car Robots Megatron. That is the Car Robots version from Japan. The animated, the uh, special classics. <laughs> Revenge of the Fallen, Generations, and Beast Wars Transformers 2 Megatron. <laughs> A Fushigi, and yes, Master Chief Bobblehead from Comic Con. <clears throat> oh, also down here I have a Goof custom, and all those green parts you see on it—that's actually the clear parts that came with it. I was trying to see what a custom color scheme would look like on it. I'm gonna replace those with the regular parts because I don't like it. But up here I have my Prime Shrine. Very proud of it, clock. <laughs> clock. I do intend to make it a hell of a lot bigger. So, that's pretty much my room for now. <laughs> and I hope to be making quite a few videos of this. For this, so, see you around on the next video.